Hello everyone and welcome back to Japan. Today we're in the city of Fukuoka, which is on the west coast of Japan, on the island of Kyushu. It's very close to South Korea. It's a port city, so in terms of trade, it's extremely important for Japan. But also in terms of tourism, it's becoming increasingly popular in addition to the big three, you know, Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto. This video is where my two worlds collide, YouTube and teaching English online, because I'm not only in Fukuoka for travel, but I'm also here to visit one of my English students who is taking me to a local spot today that I am beyond excited about. Now, for long-term viewers, you'll know that this is my fourth visit to this awesome country. Japan is one of my favorite countries in the world. And the big message from this video is all about doing things in life that make you happy, regardless of what everyone else says. And one thing that makes me happy in life is cats. So as a result, today we are going to one of Japan's many cat islands. I'm so excited. Let's get going. So I'm now at a port, which I can't remember the name of, and I have a special guest with me. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good morning. Well, this is the first. Uh, this is also my English lessons. Also, this is the first time it's a debut day for me to debut as a tour guide, and then I will I will show Ainoshima to my first first time guest, <laughs> David. Fantastic! I cannot and, wait. I cannot wait. And then, as long we go. He also correct my English. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so, so as I said at the beginning, YouTube and Italki are colliding today. Yes. In a good way. In a good yes, way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> very, very practical English lesson. Absolutely. <laughs> While we're waiting for the boat, just a few things. So if you're interested in knowing how to get here, just wait for the end of this video. There's a whole section at the end. Here we have a cat. And you'll have to bear with me in this video because this is a new gimbal I'm using. So it's very much a tester video, if you know what I mean. Meow. Hello. How beautiful is the cat? We're not even on the island yet. Hello. Oh, she's gone. And of course, can I just point out that being with a local is absolutely priceless. Miyako lives in Fukuoka, she's from here, so she knows far more than any tourist guidebook or website can tell you. So if you do have the opportunity to meet up with a local when you're here or anywhere you go, take advantage of it because it's absolutely priceless. Apologies for the lighting. The climate in Japan is very similar to the UK. It's often very cloudy and rainy. I went to Okonoshima um, a couple of years ago, which is a rabbit island close to Hiroshima. And um, I've always wanted to come to a cat island. I think when a lot of people think about Japan, cat islands is high up there. You know, cats um, in Japan are apparently good fortune or good luck, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, and especially feeding them, I believe. So you can bring like cat food here. Um, to feed the plethora of cats. Miyako is enjoying the cats. Um, so much fun. Yeah, so um, it's time to check out some cats. Oh, hello, gozaimasu. <laughs> I don't think the cats can understand Japanese or bad Japanese. Hello. Hello. Oh, little tiny cat. Hello. Is he sleeping or dead? Hello. 
This is a cat I run. This is a, so many cats as you expect. And this cat doesn't run away when I come here like this. So from this you know that how they are very friendly and the people doesn't believe bully them. Oh okay. okay. Yeah, this cats are beautiful. Just come to me. I don't have any food. I don't give him any food at all. But still friendly. They just sit next to you. <laughs> Look at these mountains, it's beautiful. This is a, a fisher, fishing, David, how do you say? Fishing, oh, um, fishing, fishing, fishing island. So there's, fishing a lot, island. there's a lot of fishermen okay. that live here. Okay, fishing island. And how many people are here, uh, roughly? Roughly about 500 people, but I have to check it. It might be less. Yes, yes. It's, it looks like more less. And I think there's maybe like a hundred, a few hundred cats, apparently. people. Typical cat, right? Showing their bum in the shot. So yeah, cat islands, there are so many in um, Japan. There's at least 11 I've read about and I've read that yeah, it's mainly fishermen and the, in the olden days, I don't know when, they introduced cats to the islands to control the rodent population. But obviously cats, feral cats, will reproduce at an exponential rate. and. Um, the thing is with these cats, you know, normal cats would survive, you know, 15 years or whatever, but because of the conditions that they're in, they generally only survive three to five years. They live in groups and the males, hello, are very territorial, as you can imagine, in like in the wild with wild cats. And, um, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so they vie for the attention of females. Oh God, don't knock the camera over cat. Oh my God. <laughs> hello, beautiful. Yes, I talk to cats. <laughs> and this one over here has a collar. So um, clearly not all of them are feral. Abyss ginger, this is Abyss shrine. Okay. In ginger, you clap your hands. A temple, you don't. Fantastic. So this is a Japanese way. <laughs> Seven? Yes. And the wow. four girls and the three boys. Ah, so at, at school there are 20 people, 20 students, because uh, there are seven children from Ireland and the other uh, 17 children are from the Shingu, which is from... Oh, okay. Yes, we, where we took the ferry. Oh, I see, yeah. So they take a boat and come to the to school here. This wow. Island. Imagine getting a boat to school. <laughs> <laughs> so as we explore the island and go a bit further into it, yeah. it reminds me a lot of like Takahara or places like that. Um, you know, quiet places in Japan. You know, it's quite deserted. Um, obviously, not many children. And um, you were just telling me about the houses. Yes. Uh, so houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. So you see, there are so many old houses. I, I expect no one is there. Oh, okay. And you see the only new house. Because yeah. yeah, there's quite a lot of houses, but yeah. it doesn't feel like there's people but to this is occupy shrine. them. Uh, okay, so no one lives, but only some uh, some relative comes here to. Oh, okay. Take. Oh, yakitori, uh, and it's open. Yeah. Remind me, remind me what yakitori is again. So yaki it means like fried or grilled. Grilled. Right? Grill. And tori is octopus. No, tori no? is uh, chicken. Chicken. Bird. What's octopus? Uh, octopus is taco. Ah, like takoyaki. Taco. Takoyaki. Yeah, it's <laughs> octopus. I had that in. Um, taco. I don't remember where it was, but I'm not a big fan of octopus. Do you like octopus, Miyako? I love it. Really? Love it. It's beautiful. And obviously, my um, Japanese food taste buds and palate needs to develop. <laughs> Yes,
So we've just taken a little break from the madness of the cats for some food. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> I have some sashimi. So, um, Nyaka, what fish is this? What seafood? So it's aji, it's yellow fish, and kawahagi, leather fish, and isaki. That this all fish was taken from around the, this shop, this I see. Cool. So it's and all local, local, local produce. Local, local. And what have you got to eat, Nyako? Mm -hmm. So, and I've got a Japanese word, korokke. Okay. Okay, croquet. Oh, a croquet. Okay. Like croquet. A, yeah. And, and it's so in a heart shape. Yes. Isn't that nice? And heart shape. <laughs> Love croquet. Love croquet. And because I think the island is shaped like a heart. I read somewhere. Oh, okay. Yes. Could be why. <laughs> And we've got rice as well. Wonderful. Let's tuck in. Yes. Uh, did you put the wasabi in? I did. Okay. And, and then we mix, mix it up. It. It's this. And then uh, let me get some apologies for my use of chopsticks because I am terrible at using them. There we go. Lovely. And then we put it in the soy a little bit, yeah? Not too much. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Stunning. I can use chopsticks now after all these years. <laughs> So that food was absolutely stunning. It was one of the best things I've had all year. Sashimi, rocks. What do you think, Miyako? Yes, it was really nice. And then uh, takikomi gohan also I recommend you. Oh, okay. Which I had. <laughs> and he had too. <laughs> yes, tips from a Japanese local. <laughs> Top notch. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Meow. <laughs> oh, look at him. Or possibly her. Beautiful. Look, everyone. I have a new friend. I think I might take this cat home with me. Oh, so cute. Let's pick up the cat, see if he lets me pick him up. Oh, hello. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> off, off you go. So, Miyako, what are your impressions of Enoshima? Well, that's, if you want to escape from the busy, bustling, hectic cities, <laughs> this is one of island. Uh, you can have a very, this is very quiet. And in, at the beginning, I thought there's so many tourists and crowded, uh, one of the uh, popular tourist place. However, oh. indeed, <laughs> Sorry, the cat. indeed <laughs> it's not like that. You, you, you see the, uh, you see the, over the seas, the waters, you see there's a green uh, hills, uh, mountains. That make you really uh, feel calm. And then there are the cats. It's a big company with you. Mm, see? Beautiful cats. Yes. And it's not only cats. You see, you see all these natures. And then uh, the food, and uh, you, you can have the fresh food, sashimi, from here. Sashimi, and then cat, brilliant. And beautiful. then cats. Okay? The cats. <laughs> right? And the cats are very friendly. And as many places is like, um, well, like um, monkeys. You have to bring their food. Or oh the, yeah, and like the rabbits on yes. the Konishima. Okay. They don't run away, yeah. but they don't attack you either. Just lovely, very lovely. Lovely uh, cats. Awesome. It's okay. time for my final thought of the video. Okay, see you in a bit. See you. <laughs> well, I hope you didn't wee on me. I know. <laughs> for long-term viewers and subscribers, you'll know that. At the end of these videos, there's often a bit of a meaningful ending. As I said earlier, this ending is all about doing things in life that make you happy. And the reason I'm talking about that is many people have been talking at me this year, not to me, about why am I going to Mexico or why am I going to Japan? Why am I doing this? You should do this. You should do that. And you know what? I thought to myself, when did I become this person that allows myself to be influenced by others, influenced by other people's judgments and views? I don't know when that happened, but from now on, that's not happening. So the reason I'm in Japan is quite simply because I want to be, all right? Simple as that. It's a country that makes me happy. It's a country that I have a strong emotional connection with. So if you're in a position in life where you feel like other people are telling you what to do and telling you, shoot, you should do this, you should do that, don't listen to them. Do in life what makes you happy. And like I said, for me, cats make me happy, all right? Do you agree with me, Miyako?
Yes, I do. Do you want to be happy? Come to, uh, come to Fukuoka and come to Ainoshima to see this happy cat. They will tell you how to be happy and have a good English lesson with David. We always he, do. Yes, we will. <laughs> he, will, he will read from fairy tale story to business story. Of course, as of course, well as of grammar. Course. Yes. Brilliant. So the last thing we have to say is um, thank yes. you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're ever in Hukuoka, look up Miyako because she's yeah. fantastic and she knows so much about this area I will show you Ainoshima. Yeah. And look down in the description below. You can find out how to get in touch if you want to do a tour in English. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. Are you happy I'm back in Japan? Look forward to future videos and I'll catch you later.